What's up guys? So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how I get rid of broken CC or CC that I no longer want in my game. So what you'll do is you'll hop in Create a Sim and what you'll do is go ahead and um, go select some the CC that you find that is broken in your game or has a missing mesh um, or you know some hairs that you no longer want, you know that you no longer use. And you can also go outfit by outfit by outfit to change, uh, to change and put different items on your sims like this is a completely different hair that I you know I no longer want and these are some pants that I no longer want and I just did random items for all different categories okay I'm also going to try to show you guys how to remove swatches typically I do not download CC that has like 40 swatches so I don't want to be overwhelmed with so many choices I'm one of those people where if I have way too many choices it takes me a long time to make a decision love this skirt don't particularly like all of the different swatches. I don't need all of these swatches in my game. So I'm gonna put this particular skirt um, in my tray folder so that I can um, go and look at it. And then I'm gonna use Sims 4 Studio and show you guys how to remove some of these swatches while keeping this particular skirt in my game. I do want you guys to be aware that any items that you intend on removing, make sure that that particular item does not have a mesh. Say for instance, I wanted to remove this shirt right here well, I'm seeing already that this shirt right here is a actual mesh for this shirt right here, like it's a recolor. So if I were to delete this shirt right here, the plain shirt, then this shirt would also uh, appear as it's not there. So you'll have a missing mesh. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. So once you're done picking out all the CC that you no longer want, what you're gonna do is go to your folder over here. You're gonna go to save household to my library. What I would like to do is just go ahead and exit out of my game without saving if this is the only thing that I've done in my game. The next thing you want to do is head on over to the Sims 4 Trait Importer. I'll have the link for this particular program in the description. The Sim that I saved to my library, it shows up right here. So you'll see this is the exact same family, base Sim family. And then you'll see right here where it says CC. Go over there to the CC tab it'll show all of the CC that this family has so this is the shorts that I said I no longer wanted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to show containing folder so then it'll pull up my mods folder and it'll take me right to where this particular CC is and what I can do is I can go ahead and delete it let's go to another one okay here's some boots show containing folder delete see simple show containing folder delete you want to be careful about deleting merged content so we are at the skirt that I was just talking about earlier that had a ton of swatches but I like this particular skirt but I don't need all the swatches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on show containing folder and then I'm going to double click and so Sims 4 Studio is gonna pop up for me and then it's gonna show me all of these swatches. So I'm gonna select that swatch and then I'm gonna click on remove swatch, remove swatch, remove swatch, and just keep on removing swatches. But you can see the preview right here and you can kind of zoom in too if you like. And you can look at the preview and to make sure that you don't delete a swatch that you particularly want so whatever swatch i want to keep i skip right over the ones that i don't want i click remove swatch all right guys so these are all of the swatches that i want to keep so what you'll do is go ahead and hit save that's all you do and you click ok and so the package will already be updated here there's nothing else that you need to do if you want to definitely keep it then you know just keep it in your game so you might have noticed that some of the items right here are in red and it says dependencies not found and then some of these files say mesh okay so it looks like this file was mi missing a particular mesh what you can actually do is you can right click and then you can go to find on google and then google will try to find whatever it is that you're missing and you know you can just kind of be a detective and see exactly what it is that you're missing okay so this looks like it was a recolor and the mesh that was required was right here so i will have to go here and download this mesh 
once I download this actual mesh, then I could go back and download this actual suit. Now, looking at it, I don't think I really want it in my game. It's really cute and it looks like it would be really cute with an accessory top, but I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to go I'm not going to download it, but that's how you can actually find a missing mesh.